The first thing I thought I'd say and tell you, because I didn't realize I did this until Sunday night. So, you didn't save it. Huh? You didn't save it. Save what? The audio. No! No, 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 no. This has oh. nothing to do with the podcast. This is just like a random little thing. Oh, 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 what? What'd you do? So I went to go work out, and you know how I brought my resistance bands home? You brought mine! You <laughs> took mine! I know you did! <laughs> Because I was going to use it, I go, did that bitch take my resistance band? And I was going to text you, but I was like, well, maybe it was hers and she took it back. Like, you left it here. I know you took it, you bitch. I was looking for it. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Because joke's on you. I've been on my workout game, too. I've noticed. Thank you very much. I know. I go, that bitch took my resistance band. Not on purpose. I don't know about that. I would uh, like it back. Do you want me to send it to you? Oh, I'll just get a new one. <laughs> I mean, I have the other ones, which is fine, but... Okay, so that's what I had to tell you. Well, I already know. Okay, good. Are you eating while we're working? Nobody wants to hear that, Daniel. Really, you're two for two, huh? Why are you eating? Your snack? Mm -hmm. You're eating ice cream. How is that a snack? Okay, hold on. Scratch that. So when I eat ice cream, it's bad, but when you eat ice cream, it's good and it's a snack. Yeah, it's all about portion control. I have portion control. I probably eat less. I ate more. Excuse me. How dare you? I ate more ice cream with you while you were home than I do on a regular basis. That's so who true. really has the portion problem here, ma'am? Good point. Case closed. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we find the defendant guilty. Yes. Always. <sighs> what kind of ice cream is it? It's that low-carb vanilla. You're so basic. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor of all time? So, yeah. okay, there's two criteria that I would like to think about when it comes to ice cream. My I favorite... will say, side note, it's hard because, like, I have favorites from different places. Well, yeah, that too. You know? But Okay, go. So for me, my favorite go-to here, since there's not really, like, ice cream parlors in Washington, believe it or not, is just to go to Safeway, go to go and grab a Ben and & Jerry's, and my go-to is like the, what's it called? It's the two cookie flavor. It's the chocolate chip and the, oh, I forget what. The you one know you what had I'm at home? About, right? The what? The one you had at home? Yeah. The Jimmy Fallon one? No, 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 no. That's oh. good, but there's another one that has like two different cookie batters in it. With, like, a caramel oh. vanilla ice cream. I'm not a cookie batter fan. I think for this one, it's more of, like, cookie chunks, maybe. Oh, like I cookie just, dough? I'm blanking on the name. But that's my favorite. Because, oh, Milk and Cookies. That's the name. It's called Milk and Cookies. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then my but favorite... But isn't that essentially, like, cookie dough? Say again? Isn't that essentially, like, cookie dough? Uh... Yeah, essentially, but I think the cookies are, like, actually cooked, or, I don't know. It doesn't have the consistency mm. of cookie dough, really. Mm. But then, I... my favorite yeah. favorite ice cream flavor of all time from um, Hoffman's, same kind of thing, but is... In Jersey. It's, yeah, Hoffman's in New Jersey. It's either... A Wait, let me between... guess. Let me guess. Wait. Go I for it. I didn't hear you. Okay. Is it Cookie Monster? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Cookie Monster's good, man. I know. That's literally like... It's Cookie Monster is uh, cookie dough and Oreo, and then it's like blue food coloring and vanilla ice cream. That stuff's good. My favorite from Hoffman's is Coffee Oreo. And then from... If I go to like a Cold Stone, it's like the cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know why. <laughs> um, and then Ben and Jerry's, my favorite is the half-baked Froyo. Mm. That's That's good. pretty good. Yeah. I feel like that's a classic. That was one of their first flavors, though, right? Do you remember when we went to the Ben and Jerry's factory when we oh. were little? I did. Up in Vermont? Yeah. Remember they had that, like, potato ice cream? Yeah. It's like, who would eat that? Probably me. 
Isn't they should crazy to think that back then c- companies were just like testing the waters with different flavors like potato and stuff. But now you can go into a food store and see like crazy flavor chips or crazy flavor like Oreo cookies or something. Okay, but it's not that crazy. Well, it's not that crazy. Like, you're comparing like a, what like a thin mint Oreo to like a potato ice cream. And I think they're very two different things. Which, honestly, I could probably get behind now because I'm like a french fry in the frosty type chick. If that tastes like that, then I'm going to eat it. <laughs> french fries right? and frosties are pretty good. I know. French fries wanna... and like milkshakes are pretty good anyways. Oh my god, side note, I had the best like french fries today. <laughs> Didn't you hang lunch. out with Lauren today? Yeah, we went out to Me Mom's and the french fries, they're, they're waffle fries. Mm-hmm. Which arguably could be the best fries too, but best they were fries so crispy. Eaten? No, like the style of fries. Oh, uh, oh, because they're whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, oh, what? We'll debate about this after your story. Okay, because, th- and then I'll explain. But like, they were so crispy. She was stealing fries off of my plate. She's like, "Can I have some?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I didn't get a lot, but like, I, I. I'm getting my watermelon. Watermelon season's coming soon. Mm. TMI for everybody who's listening. But, um, so I'm on, like, I need carbs. But, yeah, <laughs> I think that the waffle fries are arguably up there for the best type of fry. French fry. Okay, make your claim. Okay. Exhibit A, go. Are we talking mainly just fries? Or, like, is tater tot considered a fry? I would consider it in the all fry right. Tater category. tot takes the win. Out of all the fries, you took a tater tot. Yep. Now, okay. Now. Okay. Now, is regular potato fries and sweet potato fries two different things? No, because they're like the same style of fry. So, like a tater tot is essentially just like a grounded up. It's like the cake pop of French, French fries. fries. Right? Yeah. That's a different style of French fry. Okay, so, so like we're not taking into and consideration then, the then, ingredient. Oh, what? We're not considering the ingredient. It's just the style. Yeah. Okay, tater tots. Can't you tell how disappointed I am? From my face? <laughs> and I listen. I like tater tots, but I even find, even when you get them crispy, they still like fall apart. <laughs> they probably have some. Ha- some aren't prepared right. You had to have these waffle fries today, D. Like, literally, they changed my life. Well, I jokes on you. Why I order would have a gotten fries them. and pay an extra $3 for it, okay? It was that good. <laughs> but I think waffle, honestly, like, I like the thick fry. So, like, the waffle fry, the steak fry. Steak fries are good. Yeah, like at diners and stuff. The curly fry even, but I don't get, I mean, I don't really go anywhere that has curly fries. You don't ever, really see so. them that often either. Well, I, you know, I just said that. God. You're like, what are you, mom, half listening to my statements? Oh. And then saying the exact same thing? I feel like you do that a lot. <laughs> Someone has to take that trait from her, right? I've been getting really bad with that stuff. <laughs> Remember when you were home and I wasn't listening to you? Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, sorry, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> At like, least you recognize it. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, I'm sorry. Hey, at least you recognized you weren't listening and said something instead of been like aloof and like what, like continue on with whatever oh, you're doing. Oh, I recognize doing. all my problems. I know of my issues, but like, do I actively try to change them? Not necessarily. <laughs> the, that's one of them where I'm getting really bad about of doing because I I even did it today when when I was doing stuff with Lauren and hanging out with her. I'm like, she was reading me like an article, and I'm like, sorry, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> But it's because I had my manic episode today, so. <laughs> oh, with your class? Uh, you know. Go man. on. Tell the audience about your manic attack today. It wasn't. It's not that bad. So I thought I had more time over break than I actually did. And that wasn't like break's fault, like my school's fault. It's just like. I was actually busy this break and, like, doing stuff, which is shocking. So after you left, I literally was like, oh, cool. And I'm thinking to myself, like, hey, Danielle's not here. Like, I can work more often over break. And then I have, like, two weeks left. No, I go back 
we're 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 um we're doing this podcast on January fourteenth. I go back on the nineteenth. It's a Thursday. I go back on Tuesday, <laughs> and I was like, "Wow, I only have one week left." And I was like, "Dang!" And I'm okay about it because my classes are still at home, so it's like I'm really not going back to like anything much in the sense of like having to commute to school which i kind of low-key like i am saving so much money on gas this year but anyways so my manic episode which was fueled by like two nitro cold brews today (laughs) that doesn't i had an espresso no it doesn't i had an espresso chai coffee out to eat which you know how i am with like coffee and then i had a nitro cold brew because i'm like i need coffee i need to be fueled because i'm raging but <laughs> basically because like i said my school is starting in like two days um i went into my account and started, what happened like, to I your life to my schedule what i said literally what happened to your life you were on break no. and next thing you know you start school I know, because I was, like, actually doing stuff. I I literally, literally beginning before break, I was like, yo, I'm going to work so much, and I'm going to, like, be really productive, because, like, you know, school and work, you have to balance that, and school's always going to go first. I'm like, you know, this is my time to, like, work and make money, and da-da-da-da. I barely worked this entire break, which kind of is fine, but I'm also like, damn. But anyways, let me get to my manic episode, Danielle. (laughs) So... I log into my account so I can write down my schedule because I knew what days I had classes. I just didn't know what times. So I I go in and it's like class cancellation notification. I go, oh, lovely. And one of my classes got canceled literally either today or yesterday because like two days ago I was on my account and like nothing came up. So I was like, poop. I'm like, okay, great. So I'm like, well, I have to pick another class just to be on my graduation schedule. And so Here's the thing. I'm new, like I'm a transfer student, so I do not know how to use this this database to save my life, okay? I have no idea. There's, like, so many apps for no reason at all, okay? Like, compared to, like, my old school, which was relatively easy for me to function, and it's, like, it's not that hard. But, like, as a transfer student, it's difficult because it's not what you're used to. And it's hard also, too, because we're home because they can't really give a proper instruction of how to use it and, and what to do, you know? Mm-hmm. But I literally, oh, my God, literally, I was like, great, this is the day of the week where I'm going to be productive because I've been doing anything all week. And it just went, like, it just went downhill. And I was like, I need to take these classes. I need to figure out what classes I need to graduate. Da, da, da. I need to go on my, like, my my page to see what classes and requirements I need and I don't know how to do that because I don't know how to do this database I'm going and I'm going and going so I'm like okay let me take a science class because I need to take a science class but I don't know what science class is required for this type of science and then all of them are closed because again we start school in I don't know five minutes and I'm just like freaking out because I don't know how to use anything Warren's trying to help me she goes dude I have no idea I don't go to this school I'm like okay it's fine I'll figure it out whatever and then long story short I waste like one and one and a half hours of time just to (laughs) just to literally pick the same class I had that was canceled just with a different professor at the same time on the same day I was screaming I go Lauren I need coffee or I'm gonna collapse. <laughs> it was so bad because I'm like, I already don't know what I'm doing. I get so like flustered when I like don't have my mental schedule together and it's already not together at all. But I just get so flustered because I'm like, I thought I had more time to do everything. Right. And mind you, like it wasn't that bad, but you should have saw me in the moment. Okay. It was awful. <laughs> I was, it was a mess. <laughs> So basically, then we drove to Starbucks and got coffee, and I got a nitro cold brew, so I am wired. You're not having, you're not gonna have an early bedtime tonight. I might. I have to work out, so that'll hopefully get me tired. I went to bed really early yesterday too, at like ten o'clock. Wow. I know. Now, okay, with that whole dilemma, you would think that your school would, I don't know, a notify you about your class being canceled. Yeah. I didn't get an email or anything. I just got it. Like, I wouldn't have known if I didn't go on to that, like, the, the database. Like, I didn't right. get an email at all. 
Right. Unless I did and I didn't look at it, but that's a possibility too, which <laughs> I wouldn't put past bad... you. Yeah, that's a better possibility. <laughs> I've been avoiding my emails this entire break. I'm like, I need a, a break. Why don't you check it now to see if you got it? No, I did. I did. I made sure. <laughs> and if I don't, okay. I don't care. Like, I don't give a crap. Okay. I did. So that's question number one. Question number two, if they canceled your class, did they not think to put you in the same exact class and then sent another email to confirm and tell you, hey, blah, 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 this one's canceled, but we put you in this one. No, what? No, they'll just be like, you're on your own, kid. <laughs> Cause you could, cause ultimately you, maybe you might not want to take like another humanities. Maybe you want to like fill another requirement, which I tried to do, but I, again, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, here's the story of my life. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm getting by. <laughs> You're just winging it. Yeah. I am literally just, I'm a bird and I'm winging it. Okay. Uh, don't fly into any glass doors. Well, yeah. Did I ever tell you about that story that a bird literally flew into our glass window in the living room? Oh, I was going to say, is it the one when we were kids or this recent? No, at this house. This was like two years ago. A bird flew into the window. (laughs) And I'm watching TV and like minding my own business. And it goes, boom. And I'm like, did a bird just fly into our freaking window? (laughs) That actually happened. I am that bird. (laughs) <laughs> i'm actually not that bird because i got it done without emailing someone be like help me you're the bird that is flying towards the window and you're hoping that it's open and luckily enough it was open yeah or like you know like in action movies where like the doors are closing yeah and then they 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 miss it by that much and they get through <laughs> that was me that was me I don't, and it'll happen again. It will happen again. Oh, I'm sure of it, cause it's you. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Like I just don't like all of the jobs that I've ever had. Like I don't know how. I just, I just get like. You don't know how they keep hiring you or keep you on. <laughs> no, I'm not a bad employee. Employee, but like all of my jobs that I ever gotten, like. They're like I've been referenced by somebody else. Like m- my friends are like friends parents and i'm like i don't so like when i'm applying to a real job i'm like this is all on me i don't really know you're like like say you got the job and you're asked or they mention who referenced you you're like do they honestly know who i am like what is this like i I was filling out for internships and i was like i don't know the answers to these questions (laughs) just hire me i just need an internship yeah what internships did you look at today who cares? I don't even want... That was another thing. I don't even want to talk about that. I had to, like, fix my resume format and everything. I don't... I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your last hope? No, I just need a break. I'm done for today. Oh, okay. You know, I'm done. Was- you sound like you have had a very stressful day. Look at my Instagram. Uh, my phone's charging back there. I literally... It's three pictures of me... Four pictures of me annoyed sitting here while we were getting ready and it says what a day can you see it (laughs) what a day (laughs) but it wasn't that bad i'm just dramatic we've we've talked about this i'm you already said it on the last podcast and we'll reiterate again kim is dramatic i'm so dramatic i really am was your day as as eventful as mine no I wouldn't say eventful, I'm just... So, we talked about on the last co- podcast about the car, right? Just a little bit with the Jeep? Oh no. Okay, so I'll give a brief story and then talk about today. Oh, so, God. No. Sit back, people. It's not going to be that brief. <laughs> no, it will be. No so, long won't. story short, <laughs> we had to get my Jeep towed because it was f- not fuming. It caught on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it caught on a fire due to nothing that we could control. And for the past two weeks, we've been just waiting for the insurance to update and determine whether it was a total loss or that they were going to pay for the repairs or whatever. It caught on fire from fire. Yeah, so so Kim knows this, but last night I received the document that said it's officially 
deemed a total loss. So what that means is they could, if you wanted to, pay f to, for the entire repair or you would get money back. They would take your car and they would give you money to buy a new car. Well, we're going to go with the money for a new car. However, Woo! okay. New car! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Did you see me flash you? I did. They it, but. <laughs> However, here's the dilemma. I called, or not called, I first texted the See, you lady. called them. You talked to them on the phone. What did they say? So, no, this is, you have to hear it for, <laughs> in its entirety. I texted the lady, asked her what her next steps are. Then I called customer service ask them what my next steps are, and they're like, oh, we'll connect you back to your claims adjuster, the same person who wasn't answering me back in the first place. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I also contacted the bank that the loan is through and got nothing from them. So I'm just like sitting here twiddling with my thumbs. I'm like, I don't have a car. No one's answering me back. I don't know what. Ugh. So annoyance. The annoyance level is like, at a high right now. It's superior, yes. We have a rental right now, so it's not that bad. But if we didn't, it'd probably be way higher than it already wait, is. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't know what's going to happen? I have a sense, but I want it like, okay, here are your next steps on what you should do to get your new car. Like, contact your bank okay, or do okay. this or do that. So you're waiting for that. Right. You got mom hyped when you texted us, though. <laughs> I know. I, I got hyped, hyped myself. <laughs> She's got a new car. She got money. Yeah. She, she Hulk smash. Hulk. Yeah, she turned into the Hulk. <laughs> She's like, did you see the text message? Because we have a like a group chat with the three of us. She's like, did you see the text message? I go, yes, mom, because I'm in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's how group chats work. <laughs> well, that was an uneventful. So stay tuned, everybody, if Danielle gets a new car or not. Well, I plan on getting a... We're planning on getting a new car... But I'm trying to convince Kevin that we should lease instead of own right now. Yeah, but if you, yeah, you got to take those documents away from him. Those PowerPoints he made about why you should, the pros and cons of lease. Her husband, Kevin, made a lovely, lovely, um, either a, a PowerPoint or a Word doc or a spreadsheet, I don't know, of the pros and cons of leasing. And... I guess <laughs> Ted talked it to you. Um, yeah, you should lease. But isn't that like your choice? And anyways, who cares? Well, so, well, yes, it's, I mean, it's my choice, but we would have to sign together because I'm That's true. unemployed at the time. The thing is, we could lease a car because if we were going to buy a car, we were going to put money down anyways. But I like the fact about leasing is you get a new car after a certain amount of time. And it's not like, we talked about this, if I'm going to own a car, I would want to own a car that I can like approve upon. And there's not a lot of, oh, hi, there's not a lot of car types out there that you can make adjustments to or improve upon, you know? Like you see the Jeeps or the trucks or whatever and people are improving. I don't really also have the desire to do that and I'm thinking I'm taking a step back from Jeeps at the moment <laughs> after what just yeah. happened. After you know when your Jeep, you know, catches fire. Right. Yeah. Right. The only thing about leasing, which for those that don't know, is just the mileage. So the more mileage you put on it, the more money you would owe like when you return it, right? But with me not working slash doing just helping people out and stuff like that, I'm not really driving anyways. So for a while, well, the mileage isn't going to be an when issue. You work, when you start working, you're working from home, so. Right, but that's it. Because, so leasing, it would also be, there's some cars that are really nice that the payment's like way less than the Jeep was. I'm also falling in love with this chin? car too much. Dude. Did you see my thigh muscle? I did see your thigh muscle. I got so excited. I literally... Who you look... Excuse what do you me. Think? We have an intruder. Excuse me, how dare you? <laughs> At least it's not right the now. dogs. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> I got a Venmo request. <laughs> a Venmo <laughs> request? Somebody wants to be friends with me on Venmo. Her name is <laughs> Sugar Mommy Heather. Should I accept it? <laughs> 
Do you know a Heather? I don't know, but she's a sugar mommy. I might just get to know <laughs> Heather. <laughs> I literally just got it. Look Jimmy. at that. Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, off that. Do yeah, you we'll think... just fly off of that real quick. <laughs> yeah, real quick. Do you think you could see yourself with a sugar daddy? Danielle, what kind of actual question is that? <laughs> Um, I, no, cause, I, I, no. Not in the sense of, like, giving me money for no, like, if I, I'm i with somebody and they have money, that's one thing, but more, like, uh, not morally, cause it doesn't really matter, I mean, if you do it or not, just probably, no. The answer is no. <laughs> no. That's too much work. Like, I, I would be an awful sugar baby. Don't you think? You I don't text would. back. I don't go out of the house, like, to go on dates and stuff. Like, I just wouldn't want to do don't socialize. I do not socialize at all. If you want an unsociable, ugly... You're not ugly. Eczema, cover face covering under the eyes, skinned, really, really pale, pasty ghost, like, has a, like, a really big stomach sugar baby, then I am your gal, okay? With an ugly nose and little lips... Right here. I'm really selling myself out there, huh? <laughs> no, I would not. Like, I, I just couldn't. Like, I would. I don't have. I don't want money that bad. I say I do because it's funny. But I would be so lazy. I think what would happen if this were to ever happen. And this is a big it, if. It just might. I mean, it you might just with your sugar money. mama. But I know. the big if is if. This were to happen, it would be more of the sugar daddy, like he would get annoyed with me. Needs. Let's be real. <laughs> You're like because like they they give money for girls to like get their hair done, get their like I would just save it. I'm like I have uh loans to pay. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't like going out and doing like I real yeah no. I would just be awful. There's no re need to extend on this. I would not be a good sugar baby. Have I talked about it? Sure. When I look at how much loans i need to pay yes i have thought about it but like <laughs> no. i will say i am jealous of all the people on tiktok who are sugar babies though so besides the jeep that's it i had class yeah, yeah I'm, class. my life is getting pretty eventful well that makes for good content so we're gonna <laughs> bank on that <laughs> oh the only other thing i did today i brought winona to the dog park you do that every day yeah so that's n nothing new. Ooh, I wish I could bring Mocha to the dog park. He's just awful. No, he's not good at all. He's like so. <gasps> but you have a love hate relationship. Well, I'm just gonna say today, this morning, he Mocha, my dog Mocha, has a lot of toys. Like he has a giant collection of toys, and he values them all the time to the point where he rips them up right when you give it to him. Okay, he loves them. Anyways. He had one of his toys on the ottoman, and he it was, like, one of those rubbery, like, toys. So he takes a chunk off and eats it. So I'm like, no, 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 no. So I took it, and I hid it in the couch cut seat, like, in between the, cat, like, the things, in between the seats. And this dog, and I just, like, I'm on my iPad, and, like, in the morning, like, drinking coffee, whatever. And this dog just comes over to me and gets in my personal space and just stares at me. <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me, sir. I'm not giving this back to you because you're gonna get sicky because you're eating rubber. And he and I'm like, Mocha, go lay down. Go away. Go away. Go. Mo, I mean, you can testify to this, Daniel. Mocha literally is so um drama queen. A drama queen. Yes, he's a doofus drama queen. Okay. I wonder where and he gets it from. He gets it. It's my fault. I spoiled him when he was a baby. He he is the way he is because of me, and I will admit that. But, like, he just was, like, in my face. And I was like, Mocha, go away. Like, go. Go lay down. It's not a big deal. You have 50 other billion toys to play with or a bone or, like, just lick your paws like you always do. And he just, like, wouldn't budge. And I would, like, be, like get off the couch and, like, and like pat his butt to get off the couch. And you come back on and just stare at me. So, like, you know what? Whatever. So I get up, take the toy, and throw it out. Right? And he and then he's like, okay, whatever. I'm like, what is wrong with you? He's but, the product of your own creation. That's what's wrong with he, him. I know. But he literally, like, 
other people's anxiety and stress, he gets stressed out from that. Like today, when I was having my manic episode, he starts crying and like, you know how he like throws around his toys with his head? Right. <laughs> his mouth. He was doing that. He like cries. And Lauren's like, is he okay? I'm like, yeah, he's just anxious because I'm anxious. This is normal. Don't worry about it, Lauren. Yeah, it's really normal. Really. Wait for him to work. start annoying he's you when you start back. class again. Anytime I have to present, this dog barks. That's the one time where he barks. And he barks at nothing sometimes. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is outside for him to bark at. Yes, he yet he barks. I do not understand. Okay, and every time since I've been doing school remotely, this dog has began to bark two seconds before I have to present. And every time I go, I'm sorry, my dog's bark- barking. Give me a second. And somebody else has to go in front of me every time. Every time. It's he knows it's obnoxious. He knows. Probably, like, it's probably working in his little, you know, dog ring. Oh, Kimmy's presenting. Let me go and bark and help her. He probably thinks I he's mean, helping, have, but he's not. Have you ever seen that dog calm in your life? I no. haven't. <laughs> I haven't at all. Who is this person? Uh-oh. I have no idea. Are you investigating the uh, Venmo request? Yeah, I think I might accept it, see what happens. <laughs> oh boy, you might be in it for an experience. Or I can just block them, so it's fine. Um, anyways, yeah, he's just awful. And like Cookie, my other dog, is fantastic. She's so good. He's just a me- he's such a little little he's You like know a what I think is what under happened. The skin. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know what I think what happened? We never really noticed how he was until you guys got Cookie, and you could compare, you yeah, know? That's true. Because Cookie well, is, he, like, ten times better than her. I think it was because he was her. so cute as a little puppy. He was so cute. Oh, my goodness. He is adorable as a little puppy. And I think I was just, like, I want to, like, he is probably the most cutest dog I've ever seen in my life. He really, like, he really is. And he it's is. just, like... I just like I you are the most beautiful dog I've ever seen. I want to shower you with everything that you want ever. And also too like I like when we had Maddie and Jasmine growing up, like I never I wasn't like mindful enough to like take care of a puppy. You know, does that make sense? Like we had Maddie and Jasmine when we were little, so we just grew up with them. Right. It's like we got Mocha when I was like 14, so I was like all excited cuz I never got to that. I mean, we got maddie later but still you know well for jasmine you were just a baby and she was just a baby so you never had razor yeah and maddie, i was one yeah and maddie she was already like six months old so she... yeah she was a fat dog yeah so you never <laughs> had like an actual puppy before i know that's i just said that my nails are chipping i'm so pissed off that gel you gave me look all my nails are like chipped <laughs> really it's the dry weather it's really bad and i'm washing my hands constantly the dry weather over there is gross it's really bad i had to like douse myself in coconut oil last night like my skin and i woke up this morning and my my skin actually felt nice i was like oh wow yeah my skin is almost fully recovered from the dryness from over there but i still have some like by my thumbs but other than that yeah still... like my my eczema is getting bad again i'm like can we not please Please. Hey, at least you're Every... not someone who loses their eyebrows. I don't know who you're talking about. You don't know who I'm talking about? We're really... <laughs> okay. Danielle! You're so... <laughs> Danielle! You know what's great about Danielle? You're not leaving it. She doesn't know anything about, like, what's the word? Like, social cues. Cues? Cues? No, cues? I don't think that's it. I know like, what you're you trying don't... to say. But I don't think that's like the word. sarcasm. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna boast out on the internet that my cousin has really bad eczema that he doesn't grow out eyebrows. Like nobody needs to know that. That's very rude. How dare you? <laughs> Deal's like I don't give a crap. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, I was gonna say something. No, but my eczema is getting really bad, and my skin every two years i'll have to change my skincare regimen because i get a really bad breakout of some kind and it's awful and i do not understand why and now it's like this eczema thing 
because it's not like it's like pers- like I don't have a prescription. Like I think it's more of like a I don't want to say casual, like because that's weird to say, but it's not like like p- people I know who have it get pres- like prescribed medicine for it. Like it's not that bad, right? It's more like just like really really dry skin, and it looks like eczema. But dude, every f- few years my skin's like, Haha, screw you. Like it gets really good, and then it gets really bad, and then I like cry about it because my skin is just you know i don't have baby smooth skin like you and like i wish i didn't have to walk not wash my face you right like you and your skin have a complicated relationship so complicated (laughs) now it's not i mean besides the whole like eczema thing but that i mean in the most recent years of my life because i've actually um taken care of it it's not as bad as it was good job you know it's really hard for me to like I don't know if anybody else is like that, but like to get on to some type of routines. Like I didn't get on to like taking my vitamins daily until like last year. <laughs> Cause I could, I, I mean, I know so it's like funny, but like, I just could never get the routine in doing it. Like I just couldn't. Right. Don't laugh at me. Okay. We're not all perfect butterflies like you. Some of us start off as caterpillars, lady. I'm not saying I'm a perfect butterfly. It's just the way you're talking and me watching you talk and your mannerisms is funny. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> no, you don't. Watch me. <laughs> I almost wanted to fight somebody today. So oh, my goodness. So on top of I your literally... manic attack yes, and mocha. The... I don't call it a panic attack. I call it a manic attack. Okay? I just said that. I literally say about, what the heck? <laughs> Who is that? Who do you think? interfering yeah is he talking about me no i can't that's not fair i can't hear that what <laughs> no he asked me you. if we're ready because we're leaving in a bit for food oh i'm sorry i didn't know we were on a time crunch here <laughs> wow you know what's great people who are listening this girl goes so we were gonna podcast today at night my time and she's like yeah okay yeah but um i have a gym class so we could do it after and i'm like Girl, I gotta work out. It's already it's already eight fifteen. I would be working out by now. And now you're like, oh, we have to leave because we're gonna go eat. Wow. And I was generous too. I'm like, maybe I won't tell her to wake up early because she's three hours behind and do it in the morning before my friends come over and we do like we hang out. I always say do stuff and that sounds weird, doesn't it? We're not do doing stuff? anything. No. And like hang out, but no. I'm sorry, I didn't know we were on your time. I need a nose job. I literally can't. You don't need a nose job. Maybe you just need another uh, nose piercing. No, I need a nose job. My nose is a complete, like, right triangle. It's perfect. It's a perfect right angle. <laughs> Up. Like, tell me it's not. You see it? <laughs> Isn't it? I wouldn't say it's a right <laughs> triangle. A right angle. But it's a, tr- it's a triangle, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it is. I think you're fine. I need my nose done. I need my lips done. I need some, like, I don't know if it's Botox or, like, I need to, like, make my cheekbones more prominent and, like, maybe get rid of this, like, genetic double chin that we have. I don't think that will ever go away, no matter how hard we try. Not that nothing can plastic surgery help, though. <laughs> you know, when people are, like, taking pictures or whatever, you just have to angle it a certain way and you're good. But I, I can't do a side angle because my nose is ugly. <laughs> my side, like... Look at this beak. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it looks like it's good. My I have a good nose from the front. I will say that. It's small. It's like, it's a, I don't have it's to small like, contour. It's small and like thin. And it's not like yeah. too outwardly to the sides. Yeah, like it's a good nose. Like I don't have to contour. It's a good size. But like, what the hell is this from the side? <laughs> I think it's you? fine. No, it's not. I watched a video of me. Like a while back, and I go, "Wow, my nose is ugly." <laughs> so now I'm insecure about everything. So like, I don't have like a. You know how people have their sides. I don't have one. Mine's just like, eh. I have to do my eyebrows too. I'm just a mess, guys. I really am. She if you couldn't mess, tell, but she's not. Who's who? What? I said you think you're a mess, but you're not. Eh, it depends on who you ask. What are you doing? Petting Win. Is she gonna bark? No, she's tired. I think she's sore mm-hmm. when he's like so oh and she's making noise oh wow lovely <laughs> can you hear the heater in the background no oh good okay 
because I need to leave it on. It was cold down here in this basement. Because, you know, it's a basement. We forgot to make <laughs> bets on if mom was going to come down or not. Danielle, wait. Okay. I was upstairs watching TV with mom, and we were watching Jersey Shore. Oh, no. And I tried video recording it on like for Snapchat to send to you, but like I couldn't stop laughing. Her face, the face she was making while watching, she was like... Like, nobody can see it, and I can't explain it, but she just, like, she, I was cackling, and I was, just, like, trying to take a video, and I just cut it, and she was just, like, <laughs> just watching Jersey Shore. I love Jersey Shore, okay? It's, like, my favorite reality television show of all time. I like awful. Anyways, it was so funny. I wish people could see it. I wish I ha- I took a video for you. Like, it was hilarious. And I was like, what are you laughing about? I go, y-. I go, she starts laughing what you need to do is whenever mom has those moments just record it so then when we talk about it people can actually see what we're talking about i know and you know what i record my mom we can we'll put up videos of mom like i record mom all the time i have like a stockpile of mom like for my for my snapchat (laughs) in one of your folders (laughs) yeah like how you have a mom folder your drunk video folder yeah friend folder i just like I don't have a drunk video, though. They're, like, of other people, not me, because, you know. What about the carpet? On the carpet? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not me. That's not me. That's somebody else. Danielle, you're so bad. Like, you're so bad at social cues. Let's not tell the world that I get drunk. Because what if somebody hears this? Like, somebody important. (laughs) You moron. What are you doing? (laughs) It's not funny. You have to edit that out. Okay. I'm being serious. God, you really don't get it, do you? Anywho. Anywho. No, but I have a bunch of them. And I, like I said, I tried taking it, but I couldn't stop laughing. Like, I was dying. Like, I could not stop laughing. Just her face. She's like, like, it's just like some, like, blank, dumbfounded face. She's like, uh, what? (laughs) I was like, mom. (laughs) Dude, I don't even know. But yeah, I'm coming off of this coffee high. I don't know if I can work out, but I'm gonna. I was gonna say, should we let, let you go so you can work out? Guys, my thigh muscles are coming in. <gasps> I'm so excited. You need to, like, take progress pics. Okay, no, for those of you who don't know... It's not too prominent yet. Okay, what? for those of you who don't know, and this will be, like, the last thing we talk about, Kim has always complained that whenever she does leg exercises, she can't because your thighs, like, tremble or something. Can I can I tag team in on that? Sure. No, they don't tremble, you nutcase. Okay, <laughs> they tighten up like i I, it's not like i can't do 20 squats like two reps of 10 squats i can do that but for some reason they like tense up like the muscle tenses up sometimes not all all the time and uh, but but because our girl vicky that we've been watching on the youtube she does the the body the muscle activators and i've been doing those before workouts and they've been helping me boom we get and thigh muscles everybody's right look at that so because you started from the tightness of in their thigh muscles to now, you should take, like, progress pics. No. We're not there yet, emotionally. <laughs> I'm not the type of person to take progress pics. I don't know why people do that. Because if I already don't like my body, why would I take pictures of it? Good question. Good question. Right? To be I answered later. The answers I'm not going to. All right. So, yeah. But, I don't know, maybe one day we'll have them. One day and you I will did have those, them. I did the, the inner thigh workout too. That was fun. Was it good? Did it work? Mm-hmm. It I had did? to do a lot of them though, but yeah. Nice. All right. But anywho, we're going to make sure that Danielle lets us say goodbye this time without exiting out. Because oh, last I'm not time, stopping it until she stopped we're good. recording. I am. But, oh, wait. Next time we have a podcast, the next one, we'll have a lovely guest. Right. One of various women we will be talking to in the coming of weeks, but I'm so excited for whoever it is. I don't know who it is. We'll learn together, but I'm very excited. I am so tired of just talking to you. Oh, really? Yes, that's why I said it. I mean, Daniel, you're great and all, but... I'm boring. Nobody wants to hear about your, like, car claims and stuff. No. Who cares? No. Because outside of that, I mean, we'll get to it. The photo shoot was probably the most interesting thing I've done, but we're running out of time. So. In life. 
Yeah, in life. Yeah, no one guys, wants to know about it. time, so she has to go Gabon and eat right now. Right. Which is fine. You know what? You deserve it, because you did a lovely photo. Look how chunky my fingers are. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. All right. Okay. Everybody, we will hear from you next week, or you'll heal for... Hell, heal, 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 <laughs> that's me trying to do a radio voice okay anywho anywho uh, you'll heal oh my god oh my... <laughs> i'll finish right. it you just sit god. back <laughs> do your breathing exercises i got it all right you will hear from us next week okay everybody have a lovely lovely day evening morning week month year who knows all right we'll see everybody later i mean yeah. we'll hear it Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>